What's up, it's CJ Dips, and we're here to show you how to connect the Maya 44. This was a request by J Man Cole, and you know we appreciate you. And if you have any more requests, just hit us up on the inbox. Um, yeah, we're gonna get into it already. So this is your basic setup: a turntable, mixer, turntable, and Maya 44 computer or laptop. Laptop stand. I made that. I'm working on that one right there. Working on yeah, mine. Just gonna paint it. That's it. Um. So. Oh yeah. And three RCA cables. Um. You start off with whichever deck you want. I'm gonna start off with the left one. So every deck comes with these RCA cables and the ground cable. You connect. You connect the white one first into N log N1 and 2 and then you go to line 1 of your mixer and connect the ground on line on just the ground channel 1 then you get the other side same shit connect oh wait I can't cuss I'm sorry um, 3 and 4 so N log N1 give me 3 and 4 and it goes in, the ground cable goes on channel 2 you get separate RCA cable. One and two. White goes in first. Then we'll log out. White and always goes in first. Yeah, white always goes first. And on your mixer, you're gonna connect it to channel one, line one. So it's basically corresponding to the first one. Then we'll log in one. This is from the mixer. This is from the Separate RC cable. Getting another one. Oh, Three and four. So if I log out. And on channel two of your, uh, your mixer, you should go on line one. I mean line two. That should be, that's everything connected already. From there, you're gonna get the drivers into your computer. And you don't connect the Maya yet. I haven't connected because I already have the drivers in. But we will show you an on recording from Cancilla Studio. Like, in a bit, like right now. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you just a little close-up look. Um, well, these two right here, they connect to your left turntable. These two connect to your right. And then these two right here are gonna connect to channel one. All right, and what, make sure on your mixer it says line one. And you connect to line one. Yeah, connect to line one. These two are gonna obviously be set to line two. So, yeah, that's about it. Basically, yeah. that's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the third cable that you're gonna need. Um, I made this cable right here because my 44 doesn't have a like recording capability so this is a RCA cable male and then this is the other end the male can't see that oh, remember this one oh, seven. No, sorry. and then from here I join them together and pulled another RCA cable and that's male right there so it's basically one end and then it splits to two RCA cables and from there I run this on the output of your mixer. You just connect it. Output. And from there, when I want to record, I connect this to my basic sound system, which is running right now, so I can't connect it. This one, and then from this one, I connect. This is the other side of the cable. I connect this to my regular video card. It broke it because it wouldn't fit. <laughs> so you just connect it. And go right here. Your, this is my other computer. You go to start. I use Windows Movie Maker. You can use anything. 
And then from here you go to capture from video device. Hold on. Video device. Then you go, you put your dazzle. Mine's a dazzle. Whatever video card you have, you can put. And make sure it's on microphone or else it won't record. You press next. Put it whatever you want. Press next. And make sure you have it on best quality. Press next. And then from right there, you just press start capture, and anything you anything you mix will be captured like as a mix. That's basically it. Um, now we will go to Camtasia to show you the rest of how to connect install your drivers and whatever else you need. So you just gotta get props to these beautiful older bears from the. The Mateos <laughs> are the softest ones you'll get. You only get them here in Cali, in Mexico. So make sure you buy them. <laughs>